All right, algebraic expressions. Review of some vocabulary. Let's start with the word terms. A term can be any of the following. A term can be a number. A term could just be a variable, or maybe variables multiplied to each other, hence the word product of variables. It could be a number times a variable or multiple variables. It's important to know that terms, when there's more than one term, are separated by addition. For example, with the expression 16a plus 25 plus 3c, who are the terms? Well, there are three terms total, and those terms are 16a, 25, and 3c. Notice we're talking about the terms that are separated by addition. 16a, 25, 3c. Now, what about the algebraic expression 5x minus 7y? There are two terms, 5x and negative 7y. Now, you might be surprised. Why is it negative, 70, negative 7y? It's because I made subtraction become adding the opposite. Remember, subtraction is the same as adding the opposite. So if you have 4h minus 10, that's the same as 4h plus negative 10. If you have 5v minus negative 8, that's the same as 5v plus positive 8. And so as we've learned before, you can, ever, you can always take a subtraction problem and make it adding the opposite by using two slashes. One slash making subtraction become addition, and the next slash making the very next number to the right become its opposite sign. Here we do it again. Subtraction becomes addition, the negative 8 becomes positive 8. And so back to my example of 5x minus 7y, the reason why the second term is not just 7y goes back to what I mentioned before. The terms are separated by addition. So this is why it's necessary to make the subtraction become adding the opposite, so that way you can correctly identify the second term as negative 7y. Now let's also review the words coefficient and constant. A coefficient is the number that is multiplied to the variable. And therefore, it's going to be written to the immediate left of the variable with nothing in between, as we normally see multiplication with the number and a variable being shown. A constant, however, is a term that is just a number without any variable. Let's look at some examples. With the expression we had earlier, 16a plus 25 plus 3c, the coefficients are the 16 and the 3 because they are the numbers that were multiplied to variables. That's what coefficients are. The constant is just the 25, because as you see here, the term that is 25 did not have any variable at all, making it a constant. The other example we were looking at, 5x minus 7y. The coefficients are 5 and negative 7. Again, we make subtraction, add in the opposite before we try to identify terms, and also before we try to identify coefficients or constants. Speaking of constants, does this have any constants? No, it does not. There were no numbers that didn't have any variables at all. That's why this algebraic expression had no constants. With the algebraic expression you see here, can you identify the coefficients and the constants? Well, hopefully you were thinking about making subtraction become adding the opposite. You would do it here with the subtraction of the 56, making it adding negative 56. You would do it with the subtraction of negative 24. The parentheses here did not matter. This was not like distributive property. It was just a negative 24 inside, no number outside being multiplied to it. So we can just make that subtraction of negative 24 become adding positive 24. Now, here's the other thing you need to realize. Every variable has a coefficient, whether you see it or not. And that's why the coefficients here were 33 and 1. The 33 obviously came from 33k. The 1 came from 1v. You know that 1 times v is the same as v. But it's necessary to realize that in order to identify the coefficient that was on the v. It's never 0 it's going to be 1 if you don't see a number next to the variable. The constants on this problem were negative 56 and 24.